Hey, what's up you guys? This is Spidey1997 doing another Marvel Legends review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends X-Men Wave Build-A-Figure Juggernaut. And finally, we're finally here. We're finally going to build this guy. Can't wait. I'm really excited. I know a lot of people really like this Build-A-Figure. Some people don't. They still prefer the Marvel Select. But hey, let's see. We'll see. So let's get started. So first, grab the torso. Let's grab the torso. And then the belt is separate, so if you didn't know that, you, you can have him without the belt if you want. So we just put the belt on him, and then there's a peg right here, clips in there, nice and tight, it'll be good. And then you grab the leg, right leg, just pop it in. It's a little hard up, that's why. And just pop it in. There you go. So click there, and then you hear one click here. Is it on? Yeah, I think it's on. It should be on. And then for the arms, oh, he's getting taller. Just going to raise the camera up. There you go. And then just clip. Uh, there's a peg right here. It goes into the arm socket. Just clip it in there. And then clip it in there. Like so. And then bring the arms down. And last but not least, last but not least, you have the head. Just pop it in, and there you go. And there you go, guys. Have it. There you have build a figure juggernaut. And I gotta say, man, this guy is actually really, really nice. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like him, and they still prefer the Marvel Select. But I feel like this guy is just going for a simple look. Like he looks more like from the comics. Uh, the Marvel Select one looks more realistic, you know, because it has a lot of shading on the muscles and everything. Uh, the sculpt on it is really realistic looking. The muscles, everything. The, the face looked way better on that one, but I don't know. Uh, but the Marvel Select one just didn't have a lot of posability, unfortunately. Good sculpt, good paint, but no articulation. This guy doesn't have shading. It's just a simple paint, but he really has good articulation. Uh, the Toybus one did too, but I don't have that one. But uh, I know you can take off the helmet on the Toybus one and just have a... Uh, I forgot the guy's name, but you could just have his face shown. But uh, you can't really do it with this guy, unfortunately. So it's all right, but it would be nice if you can do that. Um, I know that if you take, you know, once you take once his helmet is off, he's weaker. So that's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, so this guy's really good. So let's take a look at the back. You can see the muscle detail and everything. Really nice. The paint is good. Uh, so far, I don't see any blue. Actually, yeah, take it back. I see it a little bit right there. Um, the red looks way different, as you can see. On the, I guess on the middle part of the body, let's see on the front, yeah, the same here. Uh, the, the bottom, no, that where the app area, it's not painted, as you can see. It's just molded red, but on the side, it's painted, as you can see. And I bet you can tell by the camera. So that's a little bit of a bummer that the red doesn't match. Uh, you can see the red is bleeding there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much, and you can see the, the a hole right there. Um... These, um, uh, what do you call these? These, uh, are, I guess, armor piece on his biceps are separate, so that's cool. Uh, these armor piece on his wrist are also separate. These are glued to his fist, so that's nice. I really do like that. Um, his boot looks really nice. I really like the texture that they did. It feels like a, I don't know, it just feels rough, so that's good. So I'm glad they didn't just make it glossy. Well, it's a little bit glossy, but at least it has some texture and wrinkles and stuff, so that's nice. It does have some treads on the bottom of his feet and... Yeah, so he has uh, he has peggles, of course. Uh, the belt looks really nice. That's another thing. Uh, it looks more battle damaged. Looks like he's been, or the belt looks worn and stuff. The head sculpt on this guy looks really good. Uh, it looks like he's about to kill somebody, so that's good. The expression that he has. Uh, you can tell, you can see the eyebrows. The eyes look a little bit too far apart, uh, but it's really not that bad, in my opinion. Uh, I really like the fact that they give him, like, like he busted his teeth since he just likes to run into walls and stuff so i really do like that that's kind of funny but uh really nice the other complaint i do have that people also do have is that when you put his head up down it looks fine from the front but when you put it from the back you can see the skin or his head through it and it kind of bothers me because i you know juggernaut's helmet should be attached to to something on the on his neck or something i don't know but it should be attached to something it shouldn't be just freely um i really do like oh the camera's not focused i really do like the bolt 
that they sculpted on his helmet. I really like the dent that they use in some shading and stuff. So that's nice. Some black sh black wash uh, makes it look dirty and stuff. It would have been nice if they did that with his whole uh, body. Unfortunately, because the only it's funny because his helmet and his uh, armor piece on his arm are the only ones that are, have some shit that has some black wash, and the rest is just plain brown, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it, it's all right. Um, same here. When you actually look up, it looks fine from the back, and it's all covered. But if you really, if you look at it from the chin, you can see part of his chin. The thing is that you're not gonna look at him from this angle. You're gonna look at him from this angle. So it's really not that bad, but it's still a little bothersome for people. So, you know. Now for let's go on for the articulation. Now his head can look up for a, de a decent amount. He can look down, which is nice. He looks side to side. It is also on a little bit of a neck pivot, so that's good. Arms can go out this far, which is nice. Range of movement. And it goes all the way around. He has a bicep, sw bicep swivel, single jointed elbows, which is expected for a big guy. Uh, wrist is on a swivel that is also on a hinge that goes up and down. So that's good. He does have an ab crunch, which is super tight, like that. So it crunches forward that far, and it crunches back that back, or yeah, that far. So it's, I wish I could go more further, but it's all right. He also does have a waist swivel, which is nice, and the belt is separate, of course, like we build it. So you can shift the belt up, and his legs can have more movement, so he can his leg can go up that far, which is nice. Back, not so much. Side, a little bit, which is really decent. He, do, he does have a thigh swivel, single jointed knees, which is expected for a big guy as well. Uh, no boot swivel, unfortunately. That would have been nice if he had a boot swivel. Uh, his feet can go down and up, and he does have an ankle pivot. So overall, guys, this guy is just amazing. Uh, probably one of the best wave uh, this year. I can't wait for next year. I really want Jim Lee Cyclops. I'm still waiting for a Gambit. So this is a really nice figure. Even though the Marvel Select one looks realistic and you know better, I still kind of prefer this one if you just want a simple look of Juggernaut. Um, now, I know Juggernauts from the game Marvel vs. Capcom 2 that I think came out like around 2002. Uh, I used to play I used to play as him the whole time and that's how I would be my friend. So, good memory. So, this is how I remember this character. Uh, a little bit from the X-Men animated series from the 90s, but mostly from the games. So, really this guy is just amazing. The line is good, so that's nice. Uh, he kind of has a belly button, it's funny. But uh, he does have some, it would have been nice if he had some shading on the muscle and everything to make it pop. But overall, guys, this guy is just amazing. If you guys really need a Juggernaut ear collection and you just want a simple look and not realistic, this is the one to go for. Now, if you want a good realistic look, then get the Marvel Select one. The only bad thing is that that one's not going to have good articulation like this one. Or you can get the Toy Biz one, but the arm looks funny on that one because he makes him look like a gorilla. So that's all I have to say, guys. So thanks for thanks for watching for this Juggernaut video review. Uh, this is Spidey1997. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video. And this is Spidey1997. Sunny out and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, one more thing. By the far, the wave. If you guys want to know the, in order which is the weakest and which is the best, uh, Jean Grey is the weakest, then Iceman, then Havoc. Actually, you know, I take it back. Jean Grey, then Havoc, then Iceman. And then the best one is Kitty Pride, then Rogue, Cable, Wolverine, and Deadpool. Those are my order, or, uh, order to the best, or the weakest to the best. So there you go. So yep, that's all I have to say, guys. So please comment, subscribe, like I said. And this is Spidey1997, signing out, and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.